Uh, I was tagged by Suzanne Hinton to do the New Year New Me tag, so I'm just going to do that today. The first thing is, what is your most worn piece of clothing in 2012? And here I have these jeans. They are really like ordinary jeans, uh, which they are, and they are bought at H&M. I have actually three pairs, uh, different pairs of these. I have two in this color. Uh, and I have one in a lighter color. I prefer a darker color when it comes to jeans, especially in the winter, but yeah, usually I prefer a darker color. And this has a really low waist and a kind of slim leg, not like really slim, but slim enough. I don't like like wide legs. Um, yeah, it's about at uh, H&M and it's called Super Skin. Skin? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, that was it's called if you were interested in look, uh, looking at this. I think they're just like plain jeans, jeans that goes with everything. Like, or look, doesn't look anything special. Really, it just goes with everything. Number two, what piece of jewelry did you wear most in 2012? Here I have a pair of earrings. Um, they are just really ordinary, like neutral, uh, kind of silvery, silvery with small diamonds on it. I think they're like, they go great with everything really. Before I was like addicted to earrings, I had to wear earrings every day. And then these are just great because I don't really dress up every day. So if you were like really, really dressed up earrings, it would look kind of weird. So I like just wearing these because they're really plain and goes with everything. Really. Number three is what shoes did you wear most in 2012? And here I have a pair of um, Converse shoes. Um, Converse have been a fashion or like for a lot of years. I haven't really cared about buying them. First, when I saw them, I thought they looked like clown shoes, really, especially like the red ones. These are a bit different. They are kind of slimmer at the um, front and they have like an elastic hair, so it, they are easier to put on than normal ones. And they are real. Uh, I bought them at a um, real um, Converse or Old Star, I don't know what it's called, a store in Vietnam when I was there. And the reason I really bought them because they cost like one fourth of the price there than it does here. So I just wanted to buy some really. And I really like wearing them. They are so casual, I, they go with everything. So yeah, I like them very much. Uh, what is your most worn makeup product of 2012? And here I have a mineral foundation. For those of you who doesn't know yet, I am kind of addicted to mineral foundation. I wear it every day. I, like lately, before I had, like, this is not rag, but I have totally perfect, 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 perfect skin. And the last year, my skin is starting to get some redness, and I hate it, really hate it. So I really need something to cover my skin every single day. And then I want to don't want to use um, a real foundation because it can give you acne and all the things. And this is uh, Mineral Hygienics. It did say on the top, but I've worn this like on holiday and everything. So it's kind of worn out. But I have this in fairest. Just looks like this on the back. I have a nail polish and the reason that I bought this is that my favorite color is a mixture between I like both purple and I like uh, blue. This is really a nail polish which is something right between uh, blue and purple so I really like wearing it. My sister said that this was one of the most ugly nail polishes she had seen or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she did not like it at all. I like it. I think it's like, I like it. I've never been a like nail polish girl, but the last year after I <laughs> learned my new method for getting it off and learned how to make it stay on for longer than one hour, I've started to use a nail polish more. If you want to see how I take off my nail polish, I think it is really great method. I'm going to link it right here, just if anybody wonders. But yeah, it is just oh beauty. It's called Obi. It doesn't say like what color it is or anything, so I can't help you there. Six, what is your favorite uh, fashion trend of 2012? I don't really 
like follow trends, I don't know. Uh, but what I think maybe is a trend is that I like circle scarves. I just love them because I love using regular scarves, but they just were like laying around and like flying over my head. Ow! And like flying all around when it was windy and like going everywhere, falling off, looking crazy. Like, yeah. But I think they're just, they, they're so practical and they just look great. I think maybe not, uh, this is not, maybe not the fashion trend of just 2012, but 2011 as well. But it's still a fashion trend. Also, I really like, this is also not for only this year, but I like these big parkas jackets. Like really big ones with fake fur. It's not fake, it is fake real fur and uh, like around there and they're just so cozy and like warm and stuff uh with about i like those who are a bit like in at the waist so they look more feminine but i think that the other ones look great as well and i also look like wearing tights with kind of patterns on it like you regular tights like you know plain color like brown or black or yeah just mm, normal color so that would say what I, I don't know, I don't think this is just fashion trends of this year, but like the last years. And what is your favorite makeup product of 2000? And maybe this is boring, but I definitely have to say this foundation, like I cannot go anywhere like without ending. So this saves me a lot and I just feel it looks so much better on, better on me for my skin now because I use, use another brand before and it looked great, but then I started having more oily skin in my T-zone and then that didn't look that great anymore. So I had to switch this and I feel it looks much better. And yeah, you can make it look really natural. So I have to say this again, Mineral Hygienics, same Mineral Foundation. And eight is what is your favorite nail polish of 2012? And here I have to say another um, Oh Beauty um, nail polish. It is just this kind of purpley. Again, it is purple. I love purple usually. <laughs> Um, a really glittery one, uh, I don't know, this doesn't have a name either, it is the same brand as the other one, I have no idea where to buy this, I bought it when I was on holiday, it just looks like this, and as you can see I've used quite a lot of it, yeah that must be my favorite, um, the only thing I don't like about this, and I think it is too glittery to wear like for every day because I'm not a really girly person, so it can be really quick to like dress up and girly, glittery, sparkly, shoe, blah, blah, blah for me. So, yeah, but if you really like sparkles for every day, then just wear it. Number nine was what is your worst memory of 2012? And to be honest, I don't really have a lot of bad memories, not really. I actually thought about this. Uh, in, I think it must be when my rat died, um, he died, his name was Colin, he died in September, I think. I think that must be, like, I had to go, he had had a stroke or something, and we had to go to the vet and put him down. I think that must be, like, the worst moment. And number 10, what is your best memory of uh, 2012? And that has definitely be um, when I went to Vietnam with one of my friends and living with her family and just being there, discovering another culture. I'm definitely going to back to Asia, not Vietnam, because I think it is way too hot there. Uh, but I, I'm planning to go to China. I was actually planning to go to uh, like 2013, but I think when, like, I don't know, I think I was planning to go like for the summer but now me and my father has planned to go to England so I don't know when I'm going to school and everything so I don't know if I have time for that but I'm definitely going back to Asia um, I really like like just being in Vietnam just being like getting to know them um, just like walking around there seeing things that are so so different and uh, yeah just being there like in all in all it was a really great experience 11 in one word how would you explain 2012? This one is really, really hard. I think I would say contrasts, really, because <laughs> like the contrast between the first and the second half of the year, it has been a really great contrast, like first half doing a lot, a lot, a lot of different things, like going out all the time with my friends and like just doing a lot of things, a lot of things happening like that and the other half 
<laughs> boring, not doing a lot and not going to school. Yeah, like contrast must be the word. And number 12 is uh, what is your new year's resolution for 2013? And like a lot of people, I think I'm going to be healthier, but I don't, I don't like having like resolution for next year. I make resolutions all the time for like, okay, from today I'm going to do that, like all the time, because I feel like if you need a new year to start, maybe you're not going to start anyway, but it, I feel it's going to be like, actually to get new friends, um, because I'm going to school and I sometimes I'm really bad at making friends. I like, I hang with them at school and stuff like that, but I'm really bad at like asking them to do something, uh, outside school so I think it must be to kind of get some new friends <laughs> and uh, not that I don't have friends because I, my friends they are really really great I yeah I really care about them and we have have a great time together but problem is I actually need some new friends because uh, all my friends they have a lot of things to do and we have to kind of plan it a long time before we're going to meet if we're going to meet and I can be kind of wondering because I like being more spontaneous just okay let's hang out now so Definitely be more outgoing with like new people, I would say. So that was just everything for this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, if you make this video and post it as a response, or if you don't want to do that, to do that just tell me that you have uh, done this video. And if you are not going to make another video and anything like that, I really want you to comment what uh, was the best thing and worst thing that happened to you in 2012 because that is really interesting to know for like all of you thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and uh, like this video if you liked it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos because they are coming up every day okay bye bye